Biden didn't want to recognize the eco economical problem because mainly the protesters today even moved from talking about the economy and they're talking about toppling the regime and they are aiming the core of the system to say no to the cleric leading authority of the Islamic Republic. If he want to talk about economy, he has to answer people's direct question. They were saying we don't want our money spent for Gaza, for, uh, for Hamas, for Lebanon, in Syria and in Iraq. And president is so useless to can answer such a question because he is part of this system. And because he understands he has to confront he, himself to the revolutionary guards and he understands he is part of this authority and the whole system would collapse if the president want to take the people's side. Uh, today we were talking about the small cities of Durud, Rasht and other villages which they are uprised against of the system. And it's so funny the president wants to blame President Trump's tweet or uh, he didn't say directly, but um, he is uh, undercover, talk about Saudi Arabia and other re uh, uh, Arab countries in the region, which having an uh, influences on the demonstrators. This is funny because th these people never heard about uh, those countries want to interfere and says, and they were making comparison, actually, Iranian of themselves and the neighbor countries, seeing they have less than Iran's wealth, but what a comfort these Arab countries are enjoying simply because they don't support terrorism and any aggravation in the region.